So this is the first look at the standard lens replacement kit for the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Edition. Now this has been incredibly hard to find in stock when it first was released. Uh, right now it's February, but I've been trying to get one of these since mid-January, and they've been out of stock everywhere. I don't know if there's just a low quality quantity or if they're just not really getting into store's hands. So we're gonna get the, the two frames. I do believe this is the ceiling pieces. We got our screwdriver, our eight replacement screws, and a little directional sheet here. So what we're gonna try and do here is, along with just taking a quick look at this, we're gonna actually attach it to a GoPro Hero 3 lens case. Now, originally I tried to use a third party set to get the screws out and what happened was my screws got stripped and the only way to get them out was I had to basically drill around the plastic. So this case is completely useless now and I was able to save the lens but I was originally trying to attach a third party lens to that without this kit and I just found that the GoPro screws were just incredibly weak so I'm really hoping these ones hold up a little better with this, um, I think it's called a torque wrench but it's a special wrench, uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, it's kind of like a, like a hexagon-like shape, like a star shape, something like that. It's very small. The original one that I had maybe was just a little too skinny. So I'll put those side by side here. Um, this was just killing my original GoPro screws. I'm hoping this one does better, so anyway. Let's open this up real quick, take a look at this real fast, and then we'll start putting the pieces together. You're getting a lot more pieces this time around than you used to, but then again the lens has gotten a little more complicated. So, don't, I'm not really too worried about scratching these lenses on my desk here. If I'm going to be worried about that, it's going to be when I'm slamming into the snow at like 20 miles per hour. Because I don't go that fast. But anyway, it seems about the same. I actually have one of the original ones right here. so. Completely identical. Take a look at the back here. Yeah, pretty much the same. You'll notice this is the that seal thing I was talking about. It's not on here by default. So we'll open this up. That's where that's gonna go. So there's a little, a little sort of a let's call it a dash that comes out. That's gonna be the side you're gonna pop this into. So we'll push that in, put this aside for now. So there isn't anything wrong with this lens, but I do want to replace this lens out with a new anamorphic lens that I'll be testing out. But I kind of want to try and learn how to do this. So you're going to take off your back housing. It's pretty easy. But first you're going to want to remove any type of mounting options you have here. So we'll just get this out of the way. Put those off to the side. If you've never taken this off, it's fairly easy. You just pull down on the bottom it off and this guy will just stay here so unlike the hero 3 housing which had the screws on the outside they've put them on the inside this time so the benefit of this is they stay nice and dry you don't have to worry about them ever rusting not that the old ones really did but if you dealt with a lot of salt water and stuff like that there could be a lot of corrosion so this just avoids that and makes it a little easier to remove so you're gonna take your new screw you're gonna take this um, little plastic protective piece off that's in there so it doesn't scratch the lenses and then we're just going to slowly unscrew these. So you're going to go counterclockwise. Be very gentle. Again, we do not want to strip these screws. It'll be a pain in the ass to get them out any other way. In fact, you're pretty much screwed if that starts to happen. That wasn't an intentional pun. So we'll fast forward through this as I get these out, but you guys can go ahead and do the same thing. So I realized this when I was recording my next segment, that it's really important that you keep these screws in the case instead of dumping them out in your hand and then trying to put them in back one by one. The reason being is the Hero 3, uh, well, the, the Hero 3 screwdriver doesn't actually have any magnetic properties, which makes it really tough to get back into the case with the exception of maybe the bottom right one. Even then, they're still pretty tough. Time when you're doing this, um, it's easier really to leave them in the case put the lens on from the bottom, don't push down, and then screw in like I'm doing here. So just be gentle and take your time video. when you're doing this. You don't Apply want to this one, these. it's going to save you a bunch of time. If you've already dumped the screws out, it's not impossible. You're just going to use your fingers to kind of help and guide them in there. It might take a little while, and you might drop a few, but just have some patience. So you'll get them back in there 
anyway, hopefully you haven't dumped them out. And yeah, this is how you put in the Hero 3 Plus Lens Replacement Kit. Okay, what we're going to do is you're going to get like a little container or something like that to keep your screws in because you don't want to lose them. So we'll just tap this upside down, get these out. We've got three of them here. Put them in our little cap here. That little silver one you see there, that's the original one that I took out. They got stripped. Uh, it got so badly twisted and, and torn, apart, torn apart that it actually ripped off a lot of the black sort of, I don't know, paint on it or whatever. Or maybe it was just a cheaper screw on one of the first run models. This screw here is not completely out. Just get that out real quick. This top left screw was the one that gave me the biggest trouble the last time I tried to do this. So again, just be careful with it. So put those off to the side for now. You see this is all, all good to go. And you're gonna notice there's these two little divots here. Now what you're gonna do is the lens here, and it's kind of hard to see, maybe if I shine some light on it, but you'll see, we'll take out the rubber piece. So there's these two dots here. Those are gonna align with these two dots on the top. So there's no way to put this in incorrectly. So what we'll do here is turn that off. We'll get our two dots on the top here. Get our little rubber ceiling here, put that in. That's all in place right now. And we're gonna squeeze this on here. Should be nice and tight. Put that down on the bottom again. And we'll take our new screws. Because we're just going to assume that the old screws are no longer good. These ones all have a sort of uh, grip material on it as well. You'll see uh, has these little blue blue pieces of uh, what look like paint. These are actually sort of a gripping material, so they stay locked into place. I think it's called something lock, but, so. Take this, bring it back here. And I'm gonna start with this top left one. Actually, you know what, I'm not. I'm gonna save that one for last, because it's probably the hardest. You should probably start with the easiest one, so you don't accidentally strip these. And I dropped it in there. Go me. Now I've turned on a light here just so we can see things a little better and realistically so I can see things a little better. So as I'm putting these in here now, kind of pressing it into the side like this, then using my two fingers to kind of glide it in. It's kind of hard on, on these ones on the side of the wall here. So it might be a little tricky, but don't let it discourage you. Just keep going at it. It's, it is fairly easy. It could just be kind of frustrating. Especially this top left one is going to be the most difficult, but you know, just have patience with it. And you'll get it, you know. Again, the main thing is to just take your time, screw these in, don't strip them. All this is fairly easy. And then after you get done with this, what you're gonna wanna do is if you plan on taking this snorkeling or scuba diving anywhere into water, you're gonna wanna pressure test it. And there's a few better videos that will go into more detail than what I'm about to say, but you basically just wanna leave it in a sink without the camera inside of it and fill the sink up with water and just sort of give it away so it's secured in the bottom of your sink and just let it sit there for like 30 minutes to an hour, come back, drain the sink, and just see if there's any water that's sort of uh, filled up on the inside. Because um, you really don't want to be testing it when you're out there and find out when your camera's in there that all of this work was wasted because now your camera's leaking. I mean, now your case is, uh, the seal isn't holding very well and now it's leaking water, so. If you're, if you're doing this on your own, you definitely want to make sure you didn't screw that part up. And that's it, really. We have the new lens in there. It's all secure. This is actually fairly easier, much easier with this uh, this official GoPro torque wrench. Usually I'm, uh, I'm okay with buying third-party stuff, but this definitely worked out a lot better in this case. I do wish this had a metal uh, magnetic tip. It would make it a lot easier. But that's it. We're all good to go. You can just snap in your camera, do the pressure test before you take it underwater. But other than that, you're... You're all set, man. So again, this is the Hero 3 Plus lens uh, replacement kit. This is not the same as the Hero 3 lens. The lens had the screws on the outside, so you don't want that one if you have the Hero 3 Plus. 
All right.